Bilingualism and Intelligence. Group 17, Herbie Alaniz, Estela Lopez, Carla Medina, Ulises Rodriguez. What is intelligence? Well, intelligence is defined as something like the capacity for learning, reasoning, understanding, and similar forms of mental activity, aptitude in grasping truths, relationships, facts, meanings, etc. Intelligence is, however, not a sole definition. Instead, it is an abstract and fluid definition, and this is known as a conceptual definition. Since intelligence is a conceptual definition, there are many arguments on to what is and isn't an element of intelligence. Hence, there are many different theories on intelligence. Top theories of intelligence. Charles Spearman, general intelligence. Thurston's Jones, primary mental ability. Gartner's multiple intelligences. Robert Sternberg, triarchic theory of intelligence. Raymond Cattell, Cattell Horn theory of fluid and crystallized intelligence. Since there are several diverse theories on intelligence, there are various tests on measuring intelligence. Mm. Top intelligence measurement tests. Burnett Simon Intelligence Scale, Wester Adult Intelligence Scale, Wester in Intelligence Scale for Children, other exams such as ACT, SAT, etc. Note, although there are many tests to measuring intelligence, there are at best approximations for intelligence is always in a state of flux, interconnected with health, mood, food intake, etc. What is bilingualism? Bilingualism can be defined as the ability to speak two languages fluently. Bilingualism is also an abstract and fluid definition. Hence, you can say that to be a bilingual, you need to speak two languages fluently. However, you can also say, and it's actually better to say that, to be a bilingual, you need the ability to be able to communicate in two languages competently or as demanded. How does bilingualism affect intelligence? Research finds that the bilingual brain works efficiently handling two languages at the same time, which take part in improving cognitive function. Disimproved cognitive functions include inhibition, a cognitive mechanism that discards irrelevant stimuli, switching attention, and working memory. For each language you learn, you develop a sequence of rules, processes, and structures, which inform your brain how to understand words. This helps develop a multi-perspective, fluid intelligence. Studies have shown that people who are multilingual have higher density of gray matter and that older people who are bilingual tend to have better maintained white matter in their brain. Note, in a brain-to-computer analogy, white matter are the connections of a computer while gray matter are the processes. A study done by August and Akuta reported that bilingual education produces better results than English immersion, a method of teaching a foreign language by the exclusive use of that language on key outcome variables. A study done by Pio and Lambert controlling for socioeconomic status, they found that bilingual students outperformed monolingual students on almost all cognitive tests. Scholars argue that learning languages specifically enhances cognitive flexibility. Overall, studies found that bilinguals are more sensitive to semantic relations, better able to treat sentence structure analytically, better at rule discovery tasks, and have greater social sensitivity. There has not been enough recent studies when it comes to bilingualism. However, from what studies have found so far, we can conclude that multilinguals are more proficient when it comes to fluid, creative, and linguistic-based intelligences. What you should take from this presentation is that 1. The terms intelligence and bilingual are fluid, abstract, and conceptual definitions. 2. Being a bilingual doesn't necessarily make you smarter than a monolingual, but it does give you certain cognitive advantages, especially if it deals with fluid, creative, and linguistic-based intelligences. Here are the sources we use for this presentation. And here are some more sources. This has been a Herbie Studios production video, youtube.com slash Herbie Studios.